Well, here we go, on our way to New York City Maker Fair. It's 0800. I really should have left an hour earlier, but I realized that the dealership I'm stopping at on Route 22 in Hillsdale doesn't open till 9 o'clock. And if I leave at 8, I'll get there at 9. And that's the earliest I can arrive there since I have to charge up the car in order to make it. I have enough to make it into New York City to the parking lot, but then I won't have enough to make it back out of the city. So if I charge up in Hillside, I can go into the city, back out to Hillside again, charge up and go home. So I'll have to stop at Hillside for one hour to charge up the car, and then I'll head into New York City to go to the Maker Fair. I'll be a little late. Oh well. Next update later. Well, I'm definitely going to be late. It's 0900. I'm at the dealership, and there's already somebody on the charger. Uh, so now I gotta wait until they're done charging so I can charge, which will take about 30 or 40 minutes. And then I still have the one hour ride into New York City. Fun. I wanna show you guys something cool. This is neat. This is my car quick charging. When it first started out, it was pushing 397 volts at 100 amps. Now it's almost done charging. Nine minutes left, 390 volts at 30 amps. That is a God awful amount of power. Look at the size of this cable. That's my first time quick charging. Very cool. My baby. I love my leaf. Crazy. This light has turned green five times, and precisely one car makes it through for each light. Now you know why I don't want to live in a city. <laughs> Going across the Manhattan Bridge now. $15 for that first bridge. Woo. Well, that's New York for you. And here's the entrance. It took more time to get into New York City than it did to get to New York from Pennsylvania. I spent a half an hour looking for the parking field. <laughs> well, that's it for me and Maker Fair. Um, it was pretty cool. Um, the three bringing stuff wasn't as big as I'd hoped, but it was. There were still plenty of people there to talk to, and had fun talking to them. Bit of a bummer. I never did find Joel or Angus, and I walked until my feet wanted to bleed. <laughs> uh, my phone tells me I walked seven miles today. And I do that every day, so I don't know why it hurt so much today. And I think it's because I did it all at once. While when I'm delivering pizza, it's walk a bit, sit in the car, walk a bit, sit in the car, walk a bit, sit in the car. So I walk six or seven miles, but it's all split up into little chunks. Kind of like football. Boom, boom, go. Then you stop and you walk and you're getting ready. Then boom, boom, go. And this was more like soccer. Never stop. <laughs> Those guys are beasts. But um, I got to see the part daddy, which is amazing. I think that thing is just awesome. It doesn't make very clean prints, but who cares? The whole point is it makes these gigantic, amazing prints. The thing has got to be 30 feet tall. I don't know how tall it is, but it's got to be 25, 30 feet tall. And uh, I got a little bit of video of that. It's printing a space plane. <laughs> I so badly want to put a rocket motor in that. It probably wouldn't survive the landing, but it'd be pretty cool to watch it go up. It'd probably take a freaking M to launch that. <laughs> but, um... Maker box was there, and I got to see that pyro design box they made. Very cool. I got a couple pictures of that. Got a whole bunch of samples he gave me, including another High Five Blue sample. I got to figure out what I'm going to print with that. And uh, that's it. I wanted a Maker Fair shirt, but they they don't they stop at 3x. <laughs> okay. And what that's saying is not that they need to make a 4x, that I need to get rid of some of this weight <laughs> badly. But um, yeah, it's pretty cool. I think I'll plan it better next year, so I see I, I just can't I don't see how I could stay both days. See I can come today because I can drive the electric car to Hillside, New Jersey, charge up at the Nissan dealership and then drive into New York. Drive back out of New York like I'm gonna do right now, back to Hillside, charge up the car, then drive home. But tomorrow they're closed. So I won't have access to the charging station so I can't go. Um We'll see. We'll work on maybe I'll set up a booth next year because I think it'd just be fun to have a whole bunch of 3D prints out there and just talk to people about it. I think it'd be pretty cool. These um, one guys had these cabinets that you put the printers in, so it, it um, kills the noise, kills the fumes, filters it, and um, also will obviously be temperature controlled. You can control the heat. They have a built in tablet and a Raspberry Pi with a camera so you can see what's going on in there. It's pretty cool. A little expensive for a hobbyist, but pretty cool for universities and stuff like that and companies. So, that's it.
I will post, I like took a few videos, and I got little videos here and there of the different booths and stuff like that, and no interviews or anything like that, except for the one guy who had this really cool printer where um, it would print something that you would load to it from the website, it would print it, and then it would scrape it off the print bed, and then reset and print the next one in the queue. So you can queue up like 30 different prints, and it'll print it, scrape it off, it'll drop into a bin, and it'll print the next one, scrape it off, drop into a bin. Pretty neat. So I'm gonna do it all open source too. So more to come. Heading out of New York, this is an interesting bridge. It's the Manhattan Bridge. It's interesting how the there's two upper levels there, and you have this lower level here where we're driving. That's an unusual bridge. Cool looking. That's cool. I'm home from Maker Faire. Be sure to check the follow-on video with all the clips from at Maker Faire. You guys have a great night.